Hello and welcome to Guns and Gear. Well, since I put up that video about the uh, 550 fire cord that I received uh, from LiveFireGear.com, I've gotten a few questions about it. And one of those questions was whether or not it worked when it was wet. Well, I don't really know, but I thought I would try to kind of rig up a little uh, test for it real quick. It's a beautiful day to do this. It's raining its tail off and it's uh, windy. so. Uh, if you hear some crackling uh, noises, that's probably the plastic bag that I have wrapped around the camera to try to help keep it dry. But at any rate, I have a little piece of the, of the uh, fire cord right here. And I also have this little Micro Inferno that uh, Dave Canterbury sells over on his website. I like this stuff. I've used it quite a few times. And I thought it would be a pretty good comparison, okay, to see how they both do. All right, so here's the 550 cord, and I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, douse it, all right? And douse the Micro Inferno as well. Okay, get it good and wet. Take this uh, outer sheath out. And just so folks don't think, I'm, don't think I'm cheating or anything, I'm going to take this uh, 550 cord, this little fire part, and drop it back into the water. All right, shake it off, Micro Inferno, shake it off and drop it over in the pan there. And I'm going to be using a ferro rod. This is a Light My Fire, uh, fire uh, ferro rod and a little striker. All right, now first you got to, you're supposed to mash this stuff up a little bit. Kind of get some fibers working. I don't know if, if y'all can see that or not. You know, I'm not having good luck with that. If that's tore up enough or not. With these things I usually kind of work them up real good. And we'll see how that goes. And I don't know if this matters to you, but we can drop that in the water too, right? And it still works. Looks like I'm getting a lot of sparks right there on it. I think I had it worked up enough. But it does look like it's soaked in water. If you can see that, it looks like it's soaked in water. And it's not very thick, so maybe it might not be as good wet. Well, it doesn't look like either one of them want to work while they're wet. I know that, uh, Major, I'm making a video here. Pardon my dog. At any rate, uh, I know it's windy, guys, and I know it may be hard for you to hear. But uh, neither one of them I could get to light. Uh, the, the Micro Inferno, I thought I might be able to get to work because of, merely because of the fact that it's so much thicker. Uh, it would take, it would have some room 
uh, to find some drier material in there, but I didn't seem to do that with the moderate amount of uh, working it up that I did. The fire cord seems to absorb, it seems to absorb uh, water. And if you can see that, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see if I can get this right up here. But it is absorbing the water and uh, I could not get it to light while it was wet. Just another data point about the fire cord. I still think it's a pretty cool pro uh, product. At any rate, well, that answers the question of whether or not you can get it to light when it's wet. All right, folks, thanks for watching. I certainly appreciate it. And remember to shoot straight on the range and in life. Thanks.